Hey everyone, coming today with a really great application, basically the ability to count the number of records on a specific parent record. So to give some examples, if I'm an account, to be able to count how many contacts I have, or from my contact to count how many deals I have, or from a deal, counting how many products I have. All that sort of stuff we can do very easily. You could do it in a report, but you can't use it to trigger other workflows or for other reporting purposes, it's not very useful. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a field on each of our records and have it automatically populated. So let's get right into it here. Uh, I'll make myself a little bit smaller. So basically here's the first example I said. So we're gonna actually dynamically count how many contacts are in under a certain account. So right now we're gonna use this test company. I have it open here. And you know, I could manually count it, sure. I could say, okay, one, two, three, that's good. But again, we aren't gonna be able to trigger other workflows off that or do filters or whatever it is. So it's actually not that useful in a lot of senses. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a field that says number of contacts. So I've already done that. If you haven't done that, you can pop it in there. And then we want that to automatically populate. And you know, I could mainly come in and, and type that in, but that obviously becomes very limiting as you get more and more accounts, more and more contacts, it just doesn't make sense. So how are we gonna do this? Well, we're gonna go into the settings area. We're gonna new, make a new workflow. I'm just gonna pause the video for a sec. So I went ahead and made a workflow. Uh, so you can see it's basically when a client is created. Now, if you want bonus points, you can also say, when the account on the client is edited, that's gonna be a separate workflow, but it kind of works the same way. It'll be the same trick as everything else will be at the same afterwards. So I have the main one, okay, when I have a new client that's created, I want this to recalculate basically. Okay, where do we apply it to? All clients, sure. And so all this is pretty standard so far, but here's the big trick, the one that's gonna save you a ton of time. I'm gonna go into my custom actions, advanced field update. This one's gonna save you a ton of time, ten of headache and it's just going to do all that we said pretty much automatically for me so i have a lot of options here and if you're interested in these other options you know we have other videos but the one we're going to talk about today is the aggregate field aggregate's the fancy word for basically a roll up and so it's going to walk me through this it's going to say okay so where am i rolling it up to so i do it to account name you saw the other ones there i had some referrals so if i want to count how many referrals someone sent me i could use that but for now i'm just doing how many clients under an account what am i going to do a lot of other things here but the count's the one we're interested in and do i want to add any conditions that's going to be on the client so kind of saying hey only count this client if you know for example we have i think a status here that's right is equal to client I don't even want to count my clients but in this case we want to count everybody you know if there's a prospect maybe i don't want to count them but for this simple example we're just going to do everybody and then where does it go number of contacts that's the field that we were talking about before so that's why it was so important to have that field in the first place and that's it i'm gonna hit save i'm gonna say count contacts to account and i'll hit save and save okay so now i'm back at this deal here and uh i'm going to create a new client because i know that was my trigger so I'm gonna come in here and I'm create a brand new person. I'm just gonna call him or her <coughs> account tester, sure. Uh, just whatever other, cause that's mandatory. But then of course I wanna make sure I actually put an account so it knows where to roll up into. So I'm gonna say test com company, there it is. Great. So perfect, everything else looks fine. I don't have any other details. I can just throw that person in. So again, I'm gonna quickly pause while this loads. Okay, so now this is loaded up. Uh, so let's just check the timeline real quickly there. So you can see great, it looks like this actually went, right? That sample workflow, the advanced field, they played something happened. Nothing on the contact itself. I don't see anything else uh, that's really relevant, but it says it went. So let's check it out. So if we go over to my test company and we'll check the timeline quickly here, see number of contacts. So the client was created, makes sense. And then immediately after that, it went from blank value to four, which is exactly what we'd expect. Cause when we go here, you can see we have four clients, four clients. So it did exactly as we expected. So now every time I add a new client, it's just gonna automatically update test company and really every other company for that matter. So very simple in that workflow editor. If you have any questions at all on this sort of thing, or if you're interested in doing it for your CRM, check us out blueroot.ca slash Wes. We actually do a ton of other stuff, you know, those other flows there, not just aggregates, but you can move data back and forth between different modules, a lot of fun stuff there. And you know, this whole webpage is gonna walk you through it, different gifts, different step-by-step -step guides, you know, reviews from top partners in North America and how to get started. Give that a try. If you have any questions at all, please leave it in the comments. Thanks so much for watching.